And welcome back, Haskey here with another guide for Banjo Kazooie. Today we're going to be collecting Jinjos in Clanker's Cavern. I myself think that these Jinjos are pretty well hidden. They're hidden deep in the water or inside pipes or inside Clanker's body, so watch close, and I will try my best not to drown. Now I have no idea if this is true or not, but uh, I think if there's any one Jinjo that might be forgotten on this map, uh, it's probably this one right here. This, this room is kind of an interesting room, in my opinion. It's it's There's not really a whole lot going on in this room. There's that Jinjo and a couple of music notes, and that's pretty much it. No no um, jiggies or anything else, no empty honeycomb pieces. So I, I kind of sometimes even forget that that room exists. So be sure to grab that guy before you go past, because there's very little reason for you to go back there, in my opinion. Anyway, though, now that we are in the main room of Clanker's Cavern, you can see that I have risen Clanker. I have gone down and already unlocked his chain. He's up on the surface. We'll be going on inside him at some point in this guide. But first, we do have to go back down because there is a Jinjo down there. Now, this part's always kind of sketchy. Make sure you surface and get uh, a full air bar before coming all the way down. It's a long way. And as you can see, there's the green one there. He's on the base of this giant anvil thing weighing Clanker down. Now, unfortunately, the way I, just the way I swam down there, we never actually got to see the giant key. It was kind of out of frame the whole time. But if you go down there and you see that key, he's on the opposite side. So the opposite side of the giant key. In addition to that, and, and I, I don't know if this one's actually going to help anyone, but uh, if you kind of uh, keep track of Clanker's orientation, like which direction he's facing, the Jinjo is on the same side of the anvil down there that Clanker's head is on. Uh, you know, kind of good, good luck with that as you're swimming down around that chain, you're probably going to get spun around and you probably won't know what direction Clanker is in way up there anymore. But uh, if that helps someone, awesome. Anyway, moving on, we just collected the blue Jinjo out of this sort of half circle shaped set of pipes that was on the right hand side of Clanker. Those are the ones with the light green interior. I, I try to keep track of which pipes are which based on their color. Um, there are some other green pipes, but I think they're usually brighter in color and they lead, lead to uh, different rooms, obviously. Anyway, though, we just uh, hopped over to the left-hand side of Clanker. Using his fin, we're going to hop up here on top of this platform, use the shock spring jump pad to hop over here to the this kind of pole thing, jump this gap, and we will use the ground pound on this grate here. This is sort of a, I don't know, maybe a, an air vent of some kind. But there was an orange Jinjo stuffed inside. Nice jump, by the way. And here we go now. Final Jinjo. I think probably the easiest way to do this is by entering Clanker's gills from the left-hand side. If you enter his body from any other place, whether it's his mouth or right side gills or his blowhole on top, you'll have to uh, raise the water inside of his stomach in order to reach this section here. So that's kind of why I like using the entrance, the, the left side gills as an entrance, because you don't have to do that. And there you go. All five Jinjos on Clanker's Cavern. Yeah, not, not too terribly bad once you know where they are, but if you don't know where they are, you know, just exploring Clanker's Cavern can be kind of borderline uh, dangerous. It doesn't take a whole lot to make a mistake and get caught in a pipe and then all of a sudden you realize you're, you're drowning and you have to go redo a bunch of stuff. It's a lot worse when you're doing, you know, music notes or whatever. But yeah, always having to pay attention to your air gauge while trying to explore can be kind of a pain. Luckily, though, there are not a whole lot of underwater areas in Banjo-Kazooie, so this is definitely the, the big water level, level, if you will. So if you get past that, you don't really have to worry about it no more. So anyway, that's going to do it for our Jinjo Guide on Clanker's Cavern. Coming up next is going to be Bubble Gloop Swamp. Look forward to it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.